Now, next, I wonder whether you could tell me very briefly what took place in Los Angeles. I noticed you said that uh, you, you mentioned earlier in the evening that there was police brutality and that there was, a, there was an atrocity committed. There was Could you exactly explain what the incident was? There was police brutality and there was atrocity and the, the, the press was just as atrocious as the police because they uh, helped the police to cover it up by uh, propagating a false image across the country that there was a blazing gun battle in, in, which involved Muslims and, and police shooting at each other. And everyone who knows Muslims know that Muslims don't even carry fingernail file, much less carry guns. So that the blazing gun battle that the Los Angeles papers were writing about actually consisted of uh, policemen's guns who were blazing away at unarmed uh, uh, Negroes, so-called Negroes, and whom they murdered and shot down in cold blood. And how it happened is, to my, to, according to our information, about 11.15 uh, uh, last Friday night, after the meeting was over, two brothers who worked for a dry cleaners had some clothing in their car that they were giving to another brother, and the two white policemen pulled up to uh, question them. Uh, and uh, in other words, he, took it for, he probably thought that they were burglars or something, or thieves. And when he stopped to question them, they stopped and began to give him whatever information he asked but he got fresh with them, told them to get up on the curb, which they did. And uh, one brother, in explaining it, was talking with his hands, and the officer told him, don't talk with his hands. So he uh, took one hand and held it, down, held it down. So he brought the other hand, and he was still talking, and the officer grabbed it and started twisting it. And from uh, the information that we've been able to gather, the other brother moved in to help him. And when he moved in to help him, the uh, other policeman moved in, and a struggle took place. And uh, while they were struggling with each other, a uh, dance hall cop, a cop who is uh, the duty, officer on duty in the dance hall, uh, saw the struggle and he, and he uh, started shooting. And uh, this caught an alarm to go out to all police cars. And instead of them coming and converging on the place where the uh, incident was occurring, they went straight to our house of worship, our mosque, which was a block away. And when they got to the mosque, they... Uh, uh, drew up with their guns drawn and shooting. They were shooting the bullets, not into the air, but at the mosque when they pulled up. And uh, the secretary of the mosque, the one who was uh, shot down by them, by being the uh, official, he went up and asked the police what did they want. And it was while he was asking them what they want that they shot him through the heart. And uh, when he fell to the uh, sidewalk, they beat him in his head and handcuffed him and left him laying there on the sidewalk for 45 minutes, and in the shooting that took place, seven men were shot, seven Muslims were shot. None of them were armed, none of them were struggling, none, none of them were fighting, none of them were trying to defend themselves at all. And after being taken to the police station, they were held for uh, 48 hours and weren't even given hospitalization. We have one now who's completely paralyzed. We just got all of them free last night. Then. And this happened in Los Angeles last Friday night. In the United States of America, now South Africa or France, or Portugal or any place else, or in Russia behind the Iron Curtain, but right here in the United States of America.